There we go. What do you think? Yeah, pretty good, yeah? Great, but I haven't installed it yet. No, I know you haven't fitted it. You probably should go and do that. Yeah, I probably yeah, go, should go back and start. What are you... You want to get away, you better get in line Won't go another day of wasting any time I've got a lot to say, can't hold it in this time Got no filter, I got no filter 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 Hey campers Welcome to 1010 Adventures, and uh, today's video, we're installing this, uh, the OCAM 270 freestanding awning. Oh. That was a bit weird. Uh, but as you can see, we're going to start fitting this OCAM awning, um, and we know that it worked. So uh, I'm going to do this. Now, unfortunately, while they say this can be done as a uh, one-person job, I'm going to need two. So uh, it's the end of Christmas. I've got Santa's brother helping me out. Uh, he's finished helping Santa deliver prezies. It's uh, New Year's Eve today, so uh, let's get started with my Chrissy present. Let's go get it. Oh, I've got my head cut off. Lowering down. Let's just give you guys a little bit of a look at what's in the box. Let's open her up. So in here we have the awning itself. We have a couple of mounting brackets. Now these mounting brackets are specifically designed obviously for this kit. Uh, but with the screw set that we have, which I'll just bring that up now. Nice set of screws, bolts, washers, etc. Unfortunately, they don't fit the Ryanair platform rack. So I've had a bit of a chat to my mates down at Roof Rack Superstore in Epping. Cam and the guys have hooked me up with some proper Rhino rack mounting brackets so that I can get this up here. Uh, so big shout out to Cam and the guys down there. If you need any help with a roof rack or advice, fitting advice, go and see the guys. They couldn't be more helpful. In fact, when I turned up there yesterday to get the uh, bolts, uh, Cam was really happy to see me, and he actually offered to help fit the <laughs> fit this now. The only reason we didn't, obviously, I want to record a video. So uh, Cam, again, thanks, mate. Really appreciate your help, and uh, hopefully we'll send some guys your way to get a couple of uh, roof racks fitted. All right, uh, let's move on. Uh, couple other things in the bag we also get a nice canvas bag in here we have some very very sharp steel tent pegs now this is a freestanding awning and we'll do a little bit more about that once it's all up and running and set up but these are basically so that if you need to peg it down you can peg it into the ground no worries We also have a packet of foam inserts. Now those foam inserts are basically to protect the roof rack and the back of the awning if we want to move it onto a different vehicle. Uh, if we want to sell the roof rack at some point uh, or sell the car with an undamaged roof rack, uh, that can be done. You can take it all off and keep these on. So we'll stick those onto the brackets in a few seconds. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it that's in the kit. What there wasn't, was assembly instructions and look i've got to give a big shout out to the guys at ocam who organized this for me it arrived a little bit earlier than i was expecting but guys your fitting instructions are pretty ordinary uh i'll put a bit of a screenshot of them up on the screen now uh, and pardon me why i'm waving my hand around so much but there are flies everywhere it's a hot day today it's probably about 29 30 degrees outside today so it's a bit warm uh santa's brother's having a bit of a issue with the heat i'm sure he's good all right uh so what we're going to do is start going over how we're going to mount this uh i will say because i'm i might be an idiot but i'm not a complete idiot 
I have done a bit of a test fit first to make sure that the mounts and the brackets and the screws all will fit. They will, so we're good to start assembling. So uh, we'll cut the video for a sec here. I'm gonna set up a few more cameras so we can see what we're doing. We'll be back in a sec. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do now, I've just taken out one set of the uh, fillers. Uh, I'm just gonna put these on. Now, when we're putting these on, ideally, we obviously want the, uh, the padding side to go on the roof rack side down. Now, the way to identify which way that is, uh, thinking physics here, but uh, you want your lower part portion here pointing down, two screws up top. So that's gonna give it much more support from the top down to reduce weight into in, to reduce the weight pressures on the uh, on the roof rack. So we'll we'll stick that one there, and for the front, obviously that goes on the side of the awning. So we want to have that in like so. So I'm going to peel the backings off these, and we'll stick them on. We'll come back in a sec. Okay, so that's our bracket ready to go. I'm now going to do the other two, so we're ready to go, and we'll start showing you how to mount it up on the roof. Okay, so we've now got our. Uh, Rhino rake bolt set, and uh, now this normally comes in a pack of five. Uh, again, big thanks to uh, Cam and the team down at Roof Rack Superstore for hooking me up with some extras. Uh, so Cam, again, really appreciate that, mate. Really, really appreciate it, because I needed them. All right, so with these, it's gonna be two of these per bracket. Uh, that's gonna be fairly quick and easy to assemble, but I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Ooh, that have been the sun there. Rather hot. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do with these is pre-mount these into these brackets. I'm going to use the middle holes. I'm just going to put the bolt nut on here just for a second. I am going to put a washer under it because I think it's just good practice to have a, nut, a washer under your nuts. Always wash under your nuts. Wait. <laughs> So I'm going to go into my big bag of uh, bits and pieces. Two washers. Put that other one back. And try not to lose my nuts in the grass. that on. Okay, now what we're going to do is mount this up on the roof rack. Okay, now one of the advantages of this particular car having a swinging or barn door style back door rather than a horizontal lift, a vertical lift, sorry, is I can open the back and I can pretty much stand straight up and see my roof rack. So what we're gonna do here, along this channel, just pass my camera at you there. We're gonna insert this into here and run it down. So the two channels that I've done, let's get, thank you sir. Just drop those in, twist them around till they slot in. They are a snug fit. And I'm gonna slide that one. That one will go all the way down to the front. We're now gonna grab the other two, do exactly the same thing. And we'll get all three up and uh, then I'll show you where we where we position them okay so now that we've got these up I'm going to position these roughly here as close to the back as I can so if we just lift that up slightly further you can see I'm at the corner of the roof rack I've got my channel slot for the uh, for the bolts so I can't use this part here but I want to be as close to the back of the roof rack as possible because this is where all the weight in the unit is going to be. I'm going to have the second bracket reasonably close to this one to add that extra reinforcement here and the third bracket up the other end I'm going to scoot that all the way up to the front of the, the, uh, the vehicle and then we'll start tightening them up. Now the other thing I will say is we're going to pull these quite hard against the uh, against the side here so we've only got sort of an inch off the edge Keeping as close to the vehicle as possible. That keeps uh, Mr. Policeman very happy. Before we do it, I'm gonna make sure that we've got enough room to mount the, uh, and tighten nuts in this part here. 
when we put it up. So I'm going to tighten these slightly so I've still got some movement. And then when we're ready to assemble the whole thing, we'll pull them right back up. That'll be even against the whole length of the vehicle and nice and tight. All right. You ready to do some heavy lifting, sir? Sure. <laughs> Can't be as heavy as Santa's sack. He does have a big sack. <laughs> Family trait. Okay, so um, one of the things I wanted to just quickly mention is why I needed to get these extra nuts or extra bolts for Rhino specific. So in the pack with in the pack with these, you'll see we have two different types of mounting uh, bolt. These are the ones that are designed to go into the roof rack. They just free slide up there because they're too small compared to the standard uh, Rhino mount. The other ones, which are these ones here, that are marginally narrow, marginally narrower and longer, will work. However, unfortunately, these are for the awning. So they're a nice thin back, they go straight into the back of the awning to hold it. These don't fit, and therefore I can't use these up there. That's why I had to get the extra nuts and bolts. All right, let's uh, pop this bad boy open. Now, of course, the fun part is, if the yoke is that way, we need to flip it that way, because that's the back. That's also the heavier bit. All right, we'll uh, stop the camera now and uh, get it flipped over. So now the way these need to go, it's gonna be six up top, three down bottom. And like all good kits, it's exactly the right number in the deck. Okay, so, so what we're gonna need to do now is basically dry fit this so that these screws roughly align to where we're gonna want it. So when we're carrying the 20-ish kilos of this uh, awning. We're not having to try and hold it in place and fill around trying to align screws up because it's this is this is the bit that really requires two people. You potentially could do it by one. I wouldn't want to try, but uh, the other way you could do it is mount those brackets here first. But the way that the Rhino rack uh, mounts, getting those brackets back into the sail track or into the conduit is going to be really difficult. So. Uh, We'll try and line these up as best we can to roughly where they're going to sit. Uh, we want to have the back of the awning uh, basically pretty much in line with the back of the roof rack. So uh, I could try and use a tape measure, but you know, maths isn't my strong pursuit. I'll probably fuck it up. Anyway, moving on. I'm just going to line them up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Roughly where I think they're going to sit. They're not quite aligned. There need to be a bit more of a gap between them. About like so. Let's put a bit of a gap between these. And then, we're gonna get it up there. Wish me luck. Uh, I'm glad I've got some extra strength here. Getting serious now, hair's going back. Awesome, okay. We're gonna grab one end each and wake it up. Ready? Yep. Let's go. Your end first or simultaneously? Uh, uh, simultaneously if we can. So this is what happens when you don't do good instructions. And worse yet, it actually looks like I might have even gotten away with it without needing the uh, kit from Roof Rack Superstore. Sorry, Cam. So those little round uh, 
bits that came out of the um, the padding. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to stick a little one of the little round ones on the back of each of these bolts. And that's just going to give it a little bit more depth in here so that when we're trying to mount it up on those brackets, it's not being pushed in to the back of it, which is what was happening with those other ones. Because I'll just start washing away. So that's what we're going to do. Handy fitting advice, number 76. Back in a sec. Beer o'clock after this. Or equivalent. Mm. And I chose this week to give up drinking. I didn't. <laughs> All right. One eternity later. I got it in the hole. Bloody hell. Okay gang, it's up. I am well and truly puffed, as I'm sure Santa's brother is as well. <laughs> um, what we're gonna do now, uh, I'm actually gonna open it up, have a, have a bit of squeeze. All right, so first thing I wanna just point out, the, uh, the zip up here actually goes all the way in behind that flap there. So that's nice and out of the way. It's not gonna get, uh, it's, it's gonna mean it's pretty weatherproof. It's a big meaty zip. Let's just run it all the way along. That is really free running. Like that's that's a nice, that is a very nice zip, I will say. All right, so that's in there. All we do to open it, fold it back, around the other side, fold it back again. All right, so that's it, done. What I want to do now is loosen these uh, Velcro straps. Worth pointing out, I've never actually done this before, so uh, I'm going on guesswork really, but it seems pretty intuitive. That's uh, that, last strap. And okay, she's just gonna open straight up on me, nice and easy. And I'll give that to you, just back it up. Just gonna grab onto this hook here. And you're just walk it around. Now we got this, uh, we got this little hook here. I'm just gonna hook that onto one of these uh, points on my, uh, Roof rack here, and just give that a nice little pull, make it nice and tight. That bar's now flush up against the uh, back of the roof rack. And, uh, she's in. Uh, handy little point. In here, we've got a nice little foot leg. You just pop that up. That just means it's gonna drain off a little bit. Now, we're on a bit of a slanted road, so it's not gonna be quite right as you can probably see i'm kind of partially covered on the camera here but uh looking pretty happy with that that's worked out really well now i talked about legs before um this is a freestanding awning i don't need to do anything with this i can just leave it as is uh what i'm going to do is just re-velcro these bits here i don't know if they're supposed to be velcroed on from factory i can imagine they wouldn't be they fit the rest of it. Uh, that could just be a QC thing. I'm not too worried. Like it's not like it's going to blow away while I'm attaching these Velcro couplers. Uh, they are definitely supposed to be there, though. I believe. I don't believe we are meant to unravel them when we put it away. If I'm wrong, wouldn't be the first time. Uh, we'll see how we go. But I'm assuming this is going to be a one-time only. Velcroing. We'll Velcro these down. Around the other side. Okay. All right. So that's that's it assembled. Now, if 
we've got a very, very, very strong wind. You might want to give it a little bit of extra stability. So we do have these included drop down legs. Just drop them down, lift up, twist and tighten, and that's not going anywhere. They're optional, you don't have to use them, but they're there if you want them. So if this is a particularly blustery day, I'd put them on. Also, if we come around here, you'll also notice we've got little D-shackles up here. You tie a little guy rope to hold the end down, giving you that extra support with the pole and with the, uh, the D-ring. We also then, in the middle of each of these uh, center bits, we have another D-ring which again, you can pull down solid, and that's just gonna give you a nice channel to run water off if it's a little bit wet and drizzly. So this is 600 uh, denier uh, canvas. This doesn't feel like cheap polyester. Uh, it's, it's nice. I know there is a polyester coating on it to, uh, to keep it uh, on the inside, to keep it waterproof. That waterproofing is uh, on the inside to protect it from the sun. So that makes it, the whole thing, um, durable, resistant, uh, and all in all, a really solid bit of kit. Now, if you're looking at something like a bush ranger, um, a bushwhacker, sorry, bushwhacker awning, uh, you're gonna see people hanging off here and doing chin-ups. That's a $2,500 awning. Uh, this cost me 900 bucks. Uh, I'm not going to be doing chin-ups off it, but I can see it. I would have no hesitation hanging a couple of wet towels off here, uh, clipping my cameras up to do filming. They're all going to sit up here really nicely. So I've got no uh, no concerns about that at all. Because um, we're on a bit of a slope and I've got the nature strip here that I'm filming on, uh, I'm raised a little bit. But um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with this. It's uh, it's come out pretty well. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Something a little bit different this week. Uh, I've got a couple of mugs to give away. It's not much, but uh, I really want to say thank you to everybody who's supporting the channel. So uh, leave a comment below on why you'd like to uh, win a mug. You do need to be subscribed to the channel. It's very important. So if you're subscribed and you'll leave a comment below, I'm going to pick a comment at random, one that I really like and uh, if you happen to be the person that makes that comment, I'll send you one of these. I'll reach out to you privately. Uh, I'll send you a private message through YouTube and uh, I'll send you a mug. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks, mate. That's all right, mate. I'm oh, broken. You and me both, mate. I reckon next time I'll get the professionals to do it. I reckon they'll make a good clip. I reckon you're right. Yeah. You call it, and now how the professionals do it. Yeah. Mm. Stay tuned. We'll see what we come up with. Cheers. Cheers.